Hi, my name is Seth Alvo and I've been working in the field of car audio and mobile electronics for over eight years. I've installed everything from navigation systems to full car stereo systems, remote starters, alarms, and beyond. To learn more, visit our website at www.movingon.com. One of the most popular add-ons for a car stereo is a subwoofer amp combo. Because of that, we have a lot of people coming in with problems and they want to see why their subwoofer is not playing. If you have a subamp combo that's dead, one of the first things that you should check is the fuse under the hood. Pop the hood, look near the battery, and there should be a big power cable coming off of it, usually red or blue or some easy to notice color. Oftentimes it's going to be covered with wire loom, which is usually black. Check for the fuse, which is usually going to be anywhere from 6 to 12 inches from the battery, and see if the fuse is blown. You can usually tell if it's blown because the piece in the middle is going to be split apart. If this fuse is blown, it means either there's a problem back by the amplifier or you might have just played it too loud and it overheated and drew too much power. If your fuse is not blown, the next thing you're going to do is check the amplifier itself. Usually there's a protection light on the amplifier that's going to go on and put the amp into protection mode if there's something wrong with it. Usually it's labeled on the side of the amp what color this light should be if the amp's in protection mode. If there's a short at the amplifier, oftentimes the fuses on the amplifier itself will blow. This is not to be confused with the fuse that's underneath the hood that powers the amplifier. The fuses that are on the amplifier protect the amp from a shorted subwoofer. If you check these and they're blown, you're going to want to check your subwoofer next and make sure that it's not shorted out. Another good thing to do is check your grounds. The ground is the black wire that comes off of the amplifier and gets screwed into the chassis of your car. If the ground isn't good, then you're going to have a problem. You can usually check a ground with a multimeter or just use a factory ground. If you have another subwoofer that's available, you can simply plug it into the amplifier and see if it plays. If that subwoofer plays and the other one doesn't, then there's something wrong with the subwoofer. Sometimes you can unscrew the subwoofer from the box, look inside, and check for a bad connection. Sometimes the subwoofer is not blown or dead, it's just that it's not connected properly.